from what from my experience is that I was basically growing up alone. I yeah. didn't really have a supporting like father figure, you know, mother mm. figure that I really considered somebody mm. who always had my back. Yeah. And when you're in situations like that, and you're also a loner who don't have a lot of friends, you just kind of have to use your resources. Yeah, right, I mean, right. with certain industries like that, if you're not really, if you're not like born in the area where that industry is, yeah. or you just happen to live there, you're kind of automatically like really handicapped in terms exactly. of like yeah. what you can you just achieve. You have to do whatever it takes yeah, yeah. to yeah. to succeed and win. For sure. And and that's kind of like a side tangent to, to what happened next was that I, that yeah, yeah, so it was a long time side tangent. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, took all the money out of my my tuition and uh, my, not tuition, my scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. fund. Yeah. Uh, I used the rest of that money with the money that I had earned from my part-time job and I yeah. bought myself a car. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so now I don't have to drive my mom's car anymore. And now that I have my car, I and now that I have this maybe yes for my agent, mm. I went to my parents and I said, tomorrow I am leaving. <laughs> And so, well, I mean, you, they weren't really there for like five years. So I feel like it's pretty <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. They, they were like, you are fucking stupid. Right. You are insane. You will fail. You, you are destined to fail. And I'm like, and that's Christ. why I'm leaving. <laughs> and so within one week, I had packed up all of my stuff. Right. I had gone to California. I flew there. I bought myself a ticket. I flew there and I was looking at um, apartments and I found one that was like, oh, this is nice. Um, the last favor I ever asked for my parents was that, I know you guys don't believe in me. I know you don't trust me. Mm. I know you think I'm gonna fail, but please help me co-sign this apartment. <laughs> this apartment right. Because this is the one thing I can't bullshit. Oh right. shit. Yeah. And okay. they were like, fine. And the, the thing that they took pleasure from was like being right. So they're like, we're gonna sign you this apartment. You're gonna come like crawling back and crying. Mm, right, so they're like, right, we'll right. do this. We'll, we'll entertain you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, please, this is the only thing I ask. And that was their final gift to me, is that they co-signed my apartment. Mm. And so I packed up all my belongings and then I just drove to Los Angeles. Jeez, from yeah. Florida. From Florida. Jeez. It was a it was a whole week long trip. <laughs> and then once I got there, I was like, let me check my bank account. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I only got enough rent for one and a half months. One and a half months one, to make this work one and a or half else? <laughs> to make this work with this maybe Jeez. yes from the agency. Uh, so first thing I did when I got back to Los Angeles was that yeah. I contacted the agency. I'm like, guys, interview, I'm here. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm a, I'm a resident now. Because yeah. before they were like, you're far away. We can't really make it work. And I'm like, yeah. well, yeah. you gave me a maybe yes and I'm here now and I'm ready to work. And yeah. they're like, okay, um, we'll set you up with an interview tomorrow. And then tomorrow came and nothing. And then the next day came and nothing. So I responded back and I'm like, hey guys, uh, interview? And they're like, sorry, we're in the process of hiring some new um, interns and this and that. Uh, maybe next week? And I'm like, okay, I'll see you guys next week. Next week comes, no response. <sighs> And I'm watching well, like, my- like nearly a month in now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be shitting myself. Yeah. I was like, I was shitting myself too. Yeah. And I was like, there's nothing. I, I haven't seen anything. I was checking my email. I bought this little like, email add-on that lets you know when somebody reads your email because right, I was right, that right. excessive. Yeah. And then <laughs> still I, I, nothing. I have a thing that blocks that. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> so you're right. the anti me yeah. yeah. like, I just told people no and I've opened an email. It's true, it's not a good thing. I don't do that yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, kind of yeah. creepy. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do because yeah. you could put like a pixel in an email yeah, yeah, that yeah. is like yeah. a white pixel. And it, it basically is like a tracker that says when someone's opened it. Oh yeah. my God. So you should, yeah. you should install something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I was, I was so obsessed that I was like, this has to work, please. <laughs> the and immovable object yeah. nothing, the unstoppable force. Nothing for the next two weeks. Right. Okay. And I was like, I can't wait any longer. So I called her and she didn't pick up. And then I emailed her and she didn't respond. Yeah, this is how you normally get a no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so I emailed her like one more time and I'm like, hey, um, I just really need a response. I'm sorry to reach you out of the blue again, but it's been a couple of weeks and I just, I, I just need something like a, a date in the future would be nice. You yeah. Know? And she came back to me and she was like, hi there. Um, I am so sorry about that. It's been a very busy, you know, start of the year for us. We have a lot of things that we need to do, which is a very professional response mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. basically being no. And she was like, there's not much else we don't really have a spot for a new mm -hmm. talent right now. Right. And we don't really have space for someone like you. And I'm like, oh. this is like, this is where I would die. This is where I would right. like break right. down and cry. But as I was about to, I was like, one more, one more email. 
I'm oh. not out of this yet. I'm not out of this yet. I still got one more in me. <laughs> and so, I, I don't hear no bell yet. Yeah. I don't hear no bell. I sent her one more and I was like, okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no money left. Yeah. I have money left for one more month of rent. Yeah. yeah. I have abandoned everything. I know I know you think I'm young and you know, I'm very reckless. It's true. Mm. Yeah. But let me let me level with you. I have nothing left. Mm. After yeah. this, if there is nothing for me, I'm going to die on the streets. Yeah. Because I'm not going to do anything else. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm not falling back. It's either this or I die. Right. And I'm sorry to put that pressure on you, but this is all I have left. Right. Right. So I basically gave her the ultimatum. I'm like, give this kid a chance. Or be responsible for this kid dying on the streets, which is <laughs> don't do that. And any reasonable person would look at that and be like, "Fuck you! Who yeah, do you yeah, think you are?" Right, yeah. But I think she just felt nice enough that day where she was like, "Fine, you know what? We're gonna send you one audition just to test you out. Mm, yeah, we're not even sure if we're gonna send it. We're just gonna send it to you. Do your best. We're gonna listen to it and then give you our thoughts and opinions on it." So I sent her, you know, she sends me the audition. Mm. I spend like 16 hours on it, trying mm -hmm. to get it exactly right. Mm -hmm. And then I sent it back to her. And, you know, I say all this nice bullshit. I'm like, thank you so much for the opportunity. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. I sent it to her and I wait for like five days and there's nothing. And I was starting to think maybe it's over. Yeah. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's the end. And then the next day um, I get an email back that says you booked the role. Holy fuck. And so my first ever audition in Los Angeles. You can make a fucking movie about your life. My yeah. first ever audition. <laughs> I, I Yeah. I, I booked it and I was I I couldn't believe it. Did you cry? Yeah. I was I didn't cry. I screamed. I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Yes! Fuck yes." Yeah, hell yeah. And I I just couldn't believe it. It was um it was for an anime feature with all of my childhood heroes. It yeah, was Yuri yeah, yeah, yeah. Lowenthal. Josh Keaton, Roger Wait, Craig. What was your Smith. first role? I'm not gonna get into it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but if you look up these names, you might find it. Yeah, Tom yeah, yeah. Kenny, uh, Bo Billingsley, all these people, okay. Kerry Walgren, all in one movie. Yeah, right. And I was like, this is a dream come true. How did yeah. I do this? Um, and it was for a villain role. Mm -hmm. And so I came in for it and, you know, I had never done anime before. Yeah. So I came in and oh, the director- the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The director, she was like, have you ever done anime before? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I have. Yeah, totally. I so have. Like, you, you, if anyone ever asks you, have you ever done this before? You say, yeah. 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 It's always what you do in the entertainment industry. And yeah. so, and so I, you know, I did it. I sucked ass, but I was so fortunate that they called me back to finish the rest of the, the role. Yeah. And right. then I did it. It was terrible, but I did it. And that is, that is how my career began. Was that how you learned ADR as well? Yes, that the is. the entire process That was, was my entire okay. learning experience. So what, what was that like? Where they're, they're like, you, you're in the booth and you're like, okay, you've done anime before. You know how the deal goes. Uh, just, <laughs> what was that well, first line like? Yeah, I mean, sorry, go on. It was, <laughs> it was like my heart was racing so fast. Uh, yeah. The beeps went the by beeps. so quickly. I yeah. didn't catch them the first time. I was like, I'm sorry, one more time. <laughs> and then I did it and it was like, sounding like Ash. He's like, you're a little stiff, loosen up. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, and then we kept going and we we barely got through like the chunk of lines that we mm. needed to get to. And then we yeah. got to a scene where I needed to laugh. And I was so nervous. I was like, <laughs> Oh, it's hard to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was so bad that she was like, after the session, she pulled me out. She was like, you're going to go home and you're going to, study this for a little bit, oh, right? No. And I'm like, yes, absolutely. I'll get it next time. Yeah. And so yeah. for the next like week, I just like every waking moment, Practice I was walking. forcing myself to laugh every single day. And then I came back and I was able to do like a half decent job. Uh. And then thank God they were like, all right, you're good enough to, so that we can keep you on the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I, I finished that project and that was my first ever gig. In Los yeah. Angeles. Damn, man. Yeah, yeah. My, my first time doing it, I was the exact same. I told them I knew how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. No. But the one thing is, is that, you know, we live in a time where information is online. Yeah. So there's tons of- Behind the scenes videos. Behind the scenes videos and people explaining exactly what ADR is. So you know yeah. what's going to happen. Mm. So all you have to do is match the beat, which is is tough. It, yeah. It's like, it's, it's different it's when, when, well. you, when you watch it versus when you, you actually do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. When you actually do it, it it's so much harder to- mm. the, the, yeah. the, you're like, wait, do I wait like a half second after the beep? Or yeah, is it like, yeah. I mean, on the beep, on the, just make sure. And so when I, when I, when I, same thing was me, when the, when the beep started, I was like, 
oh, I wasn't supposed to wait like another beep. Like, I, got, <laughs> I would just make shit up because I was like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't for anime; it was for uh, some other stuff. So uh, yeah, it was a lot easier. The mm. anime stuff, what I did, was a lot harder. But yeah. that was also because the footage was like 10p. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that happened back then. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty common. It was like 10p, and there was a big X on it. And oh, I was like, that's I, uh, probably a copyright mark. Or something yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And I was yeah, like, yeah. great. So I, I, I was like, I can't see. I told them, I was like, I straight up just can't see the lips. Yeah, yeah. Like, So I don't know. This is not helpful. I, I was, I told them, I'll just say it, and then you tell me if it works. Yeah, because I'm very thankful I had you to help me out through that's my right. first ADR yeah, session. I did do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. That yeah. was a really fun day. No, you, you. That, that, that was a fun day. Hopefully, because did, like did he lie his way in too. Did he? <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I was straight up. I was like, guys. I have never done this before. He, he was too honest. Yeah. You know, if I, I was honest. If the cameras weren't on, I would have been like, get out of here. No, yeah. I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> you you were, stop lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have said like, ever heard of Ava Bridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, cause, cause I remember the day, right? Where we where we, you know, got the email where they were like, oh, do you want to voice some characters? For, in in Mashal, yeah. In, in yeah. Mashal. And I was like, cool. So I, like, I am not lying when I was like, I was told nothing about what I was that's, gonna be doing. I don't even, I didn't, I think I found out I was voicing Mashal on the day yeah, when I got well, to the studio. That's usually common with the anime dubbing process yeah. is that you don't get the script until the day of. Mm, yeah. So right. if, if you're like nowadays, there's a lot of things where they do simul dub. Because back yeah. then you could be like, oh, this anime. And then you look it up and then you yeah. watch the episode. But now yeah. it's like, you really don't know until yeah. you get in there. Exactly. Unless you read the source material. Mm, exactly. Mm, so I, I turned up on the day and I was, I was like, oh, this will be like a fun little YouTube video. I'll be voicing some like background characters. Turn up and they were like, number one, you're voicing Mashal. And I'm like, all right, that's a Shonen Jump property. That's pretty, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just pretty big, but it's okay. I'll probably, I'm just gonna do some like while I like background voices. And they were and like, like, you're Rhodes Emus. Yeah. The and you're like, just magma sorcerer. <laughs> and they were like, wait, uh, you got a named role and uh, you're gonna die. And I'm like, uh, I'm, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, are you okay. And then they, br they bring me into like the studio and they're like, all right, ready to, get, ready to get started? And I'm like, wait, what? I haven't seen the script. Don't even know what the character so you've looks like. Up. You, you haven't told five lies yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. At this point, you should be knee deep in lies. Yeah. Yeah. So, you should have been telling them about the 401k. You, yeah. 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 you should have walked in and said, Marshall. Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it. What is that? Yeah. Um, Sounds below my pay grade to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I remember the beep thing because I was like, all right, I, yeah. I, seen, I seen behind the scenes. I know what the beep things uh. is. Uh, and then the first time I heard the beeps, I think I completely missed it. Cause oh, I was yeah, like- you always do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I always do, like, always happens to all of us. Yeah. Like yeah. the first time we do it. So yeah. I was like, was I was was that what I was meant to go? Oh, okay, okay. I, I think the the key factor to that day was that we had to, or I wanted to make sure that you were comfortable. Yeah. Because something that I wish I had was like a supporting or encouraging mm -hmm. voice when I first yeah. started working. I mean, you yeah. You were supposed to be the pro. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's like in a professional environment. <laughs> yeah. It's like they just look at you through the glass, oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. say anything. Yeah. Most of the time, they keep themselves mute. So you're just there, like. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah. I, I, that, I hate it's that. It's like the side eye. Four seconds you're look, waiting, and you're yeah. like, you're looking at them, and they're not saying anything, and you see them do this. <laughs> no, that was great. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. it's no, I because because like I th I think it was that like that recording session that I got the inkling that okay a lot of your skills, which is like super, super fucking impressive. Uh, a lot of it was self-taught, uh, which is like, I think you told me the, your origin story afterwards, uh, which made a lot of sense. Cause I remember, I think there was like one line where you were like giving me advice about, you know, very, very great advice. I could not have done that. I could not have done, not have done this without Alex and the other directors. But I remember there was this one, I can't remember the exact line, but uh, you were like, okay. I think it was when I was voicing the owls and it was just like, make a bunch of these noises. And you were like, just make the noises. Don't worry too much about syncing it up. You know, they're gonna do that. Yeah. And then the director was like, um, actually, uh, please <laughs> do don't do that. About that. that please know, worry about like, that. <laughs> usually for me, I walk in, I'm like, I'm just gonna say a bunch of shit. I'll leave it to you guys. But this time I was like, Garn, listen to me, buddy. You don't gotta worry about any of that stuff. And then they go on the fucking mic, they're like, no, he ignore does. Everything yeah. he <laughs> ignore everything I'm he like, says. He's lying <laughs> again. I, I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, I mean, because obviously if, you, if you're if you a second late to say it, but you, you know, you, they can shift it, but obviously yeah, you yeah. don't want to make that job harder. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So the more you have to rely on them doing that, the more gonna be like, fuck this fucking dog <laughs> yeah. guy, bro. He keeps fucking making us fucking clip things and yeah. shit, shit out. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's really, really insane. I also think that we should preface, please don't annoy a casting person. No, 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 no. That okay. is actually, I think the worst single well, advice Everything ever. that Alex has said- Somehow that worked, but yeah. I feel like 99% of the time that would never work. It would, yeah. it would never work. It would yeah. never work if I did it a second off, a yeah. minute 100%. off. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a once in like a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, that's crazy. Because yeah. you know, the thing that people talk about acting or any any skill or any like, even being, yeah. you know, content creators and mm. stuff like that. Yeah. It's always like, oh, what do you need to succeed? You need drive, you need determination, you need passion, all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> technical, technical skills. You gotta have sure. a good mind and an intellectual sure, mind on sure. these sort of matters. But one thing that you also need is luck. Yeah, that yeah, is a, luck, that luck, is a luck, factor that, that is out of your control all Absolutely. the time. Your your entire story is just like five different stars yeah. aligning into like the well, perfect it's, place. Well, it's a thing. It's a thing where it's like not only do you need luck, you need the ability to act on that luck. Yeah. yeah. When you oh, see absolutely. an opening, course, you have yeah, to go yeah. for it. Yeah. Totally. I mean, it's like how can somebody be a poker pro, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, all yeah. about uh, understanding taking advantage luck. of the yeah, opportunity, using, yeah. using using that luck. Yeah. 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 Using yeah. every kind of thing you can to give yourself an edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, and going and I uh, drive it across the country to make it work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I so mean, it was, like, it was like things were, you know, it could have played out very differently. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I knew that if. You got the chance you could make it work. Yeah. What I what I was aiming for is I, I knew I could do this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was yeah. like, you have to do that though. You I have to like, believe you can do I it. I know deep down that I can do this. Yeah. I just need the opportunity. Yeah. And I would do whatever it takes yeah. to get that opportunity yeah. because I can justify it once I once I can prove myself. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. if I if I was, you know, I don't I'd like to think that I was arrogant and I was too full <laughs> of myself. Yeah. But it was just enough to get me across the yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. Because totally. if I was too arrogant and I couldn't prove myself, I would have lost everything that within an instant. Yeah. And yeah. if I wasn't arrogant enough, I would have never been brave enough to push my luck mm. that far. Yeah. Mm. So it was just like the right amount. Yeah, you gotta have a little, yeah. I mean like same, when I started doing voiceover professionally in the UK, I, they asked me if I lived in London. I didn't, I just said, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know what that, what that would lead to, but that ended up getting me more work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, okay. If, I, if I'd have said no, I would have never have gotten these, exactly. these yeah. works. Yeah. And it was like, okay, I'll just, I mean, the UK is obviously a lot smaller than America. So, it, yeah. you know, I, I could easily cross the whole country uh, in a day. Mm. And so I did. I yeah. was just like, all right, I'll fucking do it. I, I was like, I was making no money because the cost of traveling and staying there. Sometimes was, you have to to justify that as well. Yeah. You know? I was like, yeah, I think it makes sense. And then I ended up doing Black Butler stuff online. So then it was yeah, like, yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be professional at content creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. hey, you never I know mean, where it's it takes a, you. It's the same as a content creator too. Dude, I yeah. mean, that, all that, the opportunities yeah. that you get and all the opportunities you take, mm. it, it sometimes it appears in front of you yeah. as a yeah. glimmer. Like, yeah. yeah. Instance. And, and that even having any kind of a professional experience, I think is invaluable. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially when you're trying to do anything entertainment. I think having like to be responsible and, and answer to people and know the kind of, the the do's and don'ts that goes a long way with just how you do everything. I think I think, I think yeah. a big thing yeah. is also the ability to you know um, be okay with failing. You yeah. know, yeah. to make a complete ass of yourself. Yeah, totally. because mm -hmm. like that part, how I got my start was a was a big kick for me. Yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean it was all smooth sailing from there. Mm. Yeah. I got my fucking ass whooped for the next like five years. <laughs> you know, I just you know there were so many moments where I humiliated myself, where yeah. I embarrassed myself. And that's how I learned to reel it back in. That's how I yeah. learned where I am on the skill level, what I need to improve on. Because if I don't admit to my own faults, yeah. Yeah. I don't admit that I suck, mm. I can't improve. Yeah, Literally my yourself. first job, they told me that, you know, in a nice way that I was ass. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know, I can't just- I mean, it's impressive that you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I can't just go back in and be like, I'm not ass. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. Just and then just be <laughs> ass again. I mean, I mean the, sad, the sad reality is that everyone always wants to know how to make it. Yeah. yeah. What they don't tell you is how to how to keep doing it. How to keep yeah. doing it is yeah, the most the important part. part right? Because like so many gig, right? so many actors and voice actors, they get one gig and then that's it. I'm in. They're yeah. like, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. And then they never do anything again. Yeah. Or they yeah. don't they can never live up to that hype or that. Mm. Yeah. Same with YouTube too, right? Everyone it wants to know same. how to get how to blow up. No one wants to know how to maintain stick maintain, yeah. maintain yeah. that for a long enough time. It's hard. I yeah. mean it requires, I think, loving what you do and like really yeah. caring. And obviously, I mean it shows.